So I want to thank you guys all so much for being here and welcome to our new project, the Divine Brand Collective. And this project kind of stemmed and came from my creation of um, a, a retreat that I was planning for in January 2024 for marketing plan strategy and planning, as well as some wellness components. And in my journey of doing all of that um, and kind of having lots of people come and speak to me and say, oh, I want to do that. I want healing and people that were business owners and not business owners. And so um, I figured I would create a community because I think after COVID, you know, we're all missing that component, as well as people looking for resources and not necessarily finding the right vetted resources to kind of go to. And so this community is a collective of amazing people looking to kind of create and support one another and share their gifts with the world. So we're going to get started with Sandra setting an intention for the space. And then Mimi will take us through a little bit of a breathwork exercise. Then I will share um, the details of the collective. And then we will move into introductions of everyone here. You can share who you are and what you're up to in the world, what your purpose, what your intention is. And then Sandra will close us out. So Sandra. All right. So hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Yeah. I'm uh, so glad to be here with you. And I just want to like create a, a circle of uh, energetic sphere of intentionality because I believe that that's really powerful when we come up with intentions and, and really clarify them. So I'd love for you to just bring one hand on your heart. And, and if this aligns with you, um, just put whatever intention it is in the, in the energetic sphere that we're creating, thinking that um, and calling forth, right? So I'll just um, I pray this the way that I pray, which is Mother, Father, God, beloved creator, uh, divine mystery, allow us to be fully present here today. May the learning, the inspiration, the motivation, and the encouragement that happens here today allows us to expand our voices, our messages, our missions, and our contribution in the greatest way. And may we continue to help each other and send the waves of healing and dignity and abundance through the field. Um, especially coming together with, with this clear intention. And so we call forth divine presence to be here now and we get out of the way so that that can happen optimally. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Sandra. Mimi? Beautiful. Hi, everybody. I'm Mimi. Nice to see everybody. And we're just going to become instantly present. Thank you, Sandra, for setting this beautiful energetic ecosystem and always going forward with a lot of intention. So just shut down your eyes for a moment. There's nothing you need to do in this next few minutes except, except to step into instant presence. Let's inhale and bring the shoulders up to the ears and just let them drop. <sighs> One more time. Inhale, shoulders up to the ears and just let them drop. And bring your palms together in front of you and just begin rubbing the palms together, creating a little bit of friction, a little bit of energy, chi, prana, life force, whatever it is that you call it, just creating that little bit of heat, generating that stimulation, that electromagnetic charge in between the palms a little bit faster. And now separate the hands about six inches apart. And you can feel that charge that you've created, allowing the hands to gently gain a little bit more momentum towards each other, towards each other, towards each other. And just before they touch, we'll place the left hand over the heart and the right hand right over the left, bringing all of that beautiful energy right into ourselves, keeping the gaze turned inwards. If this hand position feels comfortable for you, you can keep it there, or you may bring the right hand down to the belly or place your hands on your lap with the palms facing up or facing down, whatever feels comfortable for you. We're gonna go through a couple rounds of something called triangle breathing, which is a very simple exercise to bring our focus, our presence completely on our breath and our own rhythm. Let's take a big breath in through the nose. 
and just sigh it out the mouth. Yeah. Let's do it again. Inhale through the nose. And sigh it out the mouth. And with your eyes closed, you'll follow my voice as your guide. We'll simply go through a few rounds of breathing in through the nose for three counts. We'll hold for three counts. And then exhale through the mouth for three counts. And you can take it at your own rhythm. My voice is simply a suggestion, simply a guide. Let's begin together. So exhale all of the air out of your lungs. Inhale through the nose for one, two, two three. Hold. One, two, three. Exhale through the mouth. One two, three, hold, one, two, three, inhale, one, two, three, hold, one, two, three, exhale, one, two, three, hold, one, Two, three, inhale, one, two, three, hold, one, two, three, exhale, one, two, three. Coming back to your normal breathing. We are now instantly present. We created coherence as a group. Open your eyes gently and lift your arms up over your head. Just one time, shake out the wrist, shake out the shoulders, right? Now we can take our serious pants off a little bit, have a little bit of fun because as we know, beautiful people, next to time, relationships are our best assets. And just by looking at this group here together, I know that we're onto something amazing. So thank you for completing that. Simple yet quite effective exercise on becoming instantly present. Thank you. Thank you, Mimi. So I'm going to share my screen with you guys. And share a little presentation on what the Divine Brand Collective is. And clearly, I haven't used PowerPoint in a hot minute. So, if you got a slideshow, yep, yeah, there you go. Yes. <laughs> I have all of the Zoom windows everywhere. <laughs> so, welcome to our community info session. We're going to be doing these info sessions um, once a month, and they will be the first Monday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, next month, it will be the second um, because in September, the first weekend is Labor Day. So we'll be doing it the second weekend. The Divine Brand Collective is a community of heart-centered humans that are committed to elevating the vibration of the planet, starting with self-transformation, growth, and community building. Our primary objective is to create live and virtual experiences that foster a deeper connection between ourselves and the divine while nurturing personal growth, learning, and a positive impact. We strive to provide a sense of peace and grounding to our members, enabling them to continuously evolve and make a difference. Who we serve. There are a couple of different elements um, of this community and we serve heart-centered business coaches, healers, wellness facilitators, and people that are looking for a deeper connection with themselves, path and purpose, and community. 
Our mission is in supporting members in finding deepened relationships to self by integrating their past and providing access to do the inner work so that they can show up authentically and confidently. Supporting members to clarify their desires, goals, soul's purpose, core values, personally and within their business. Our vision is, it is our hope that each person that heals and grows will find a way of giving back in service to others. By healing ourselves, we can contribute to profound change in the world. We envision members sharing themselves confidently and authentically by providing them with community, tools for inner work, and resources to support them in their business goals. The membership, which will be open for anyone, so it could be um, a business coach, it could be a wellness coach or facilitator, or it could just be somebody that wants more options or opportunities or wants access to different healing or business tools. Um, so what's included, it's $97 a month, and there will be weekly workshops featuring experts like yourself on Thursdays at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. My Brand Boutique Elite Mastermind, that's live Zoom on Tuesdays, 12 p.m. And in that mastermind, we share who we are, what our, we're working on, our big wins, as well as an ask of the group. So this is a community in which people have access to really having those real conversations, sharing what's going on for them and getting like live real time access to, you know, all of your expert information. There will be moon rituals, which will be live and in person, access to digital workshops for self-development and business support in the back end, an online community where members can communicate and share and connect with one another, access to all the recorded sessions. We will be doing day retreats and um, there'll be a $50 discount to any of the day retreats, $250 discount on any of the five day retreats and discount codes for products and services um, of the other members in the group as well. Our courts leadership, and this is what would be everyone on this call. So all of you that are on this call, I see you know, really sharing your expert advice with the community. So you would be featured in a virtual workshop, which we would be doing ad campaigns for to get added leverage and reach. We'll also be doing you know, social media outreach, email marketing um, before and after the workshop. You will also have an option during your virtual workshop to have a freebie opt-in. So whether it be a strategy call or maybe your ebook or something of that nature, you'll also be able to sell your program and your service within this workshop. That workshop will also be held in the back end space. So people will be able, whenever they come into membership, will be able to view all of these videos and all of these tools. They'll be able to click on the link to set up a call with you or to purchase your product or to get your freebie um, gift that you're giving so that we're gonna continue to facilitate access. Um, you'll also be featured on our main front piece, uh, facing website. And so you'll be as one of the courts leaderships featured with your opt-ins there. So people can connect with you right there from that front page. Um, you'll have an opportunity to be on the podcast, the Divine Brand Collective, as well as um, the Brand Boutique Elite podcast. And if any of you on this call have a podcast and want to kind of add that as an opt-in or a opportunity for the court's leadership team, I'm more than happy to include that as well. We'll be doing press releases for the event. Um, we'll also be doing referral leads. So any, everybody in the community, once you know, you're know you going to the events, whether it's virtual or Zoom, we all build relationships. So in the Brand Boutique Elite Mastermind, everyone's kind of done business together because we've established relationships. People get to see who you are, get that front-facing thing. We can also drive traffic to your workshop um, so that people can get a deeper dive of what you're doing. 
Um, we'll also have you featured on our weekly newsletters for any upcoming events that you have personally. So if you wanna co-brand things with our collective, that will also be an opportunity. Um, for any of our day retreats, um, if you do want to be one of the referral partners for that, um, you will make $50 commission of every ticket sold. And then for every um, membership sold, so if you bring in members to this community as well, you will receive $20 a month of uh, their monthly membership fee. So you'll gain that too. Because so I really want us to be able to leverage this community to drive traffic to it, refer business to one another and kind of stay in community. And whether that be just virtual or live. Um, we are focusing our communities right now to Boston, Austin and Miami, but we're definitely open to growing those um, networks, growing those communities and as kind of this collective grows, you know, I have people in other cities that are interested in taking on leadership roles and kind of creating community there. And I know a lot of us on this call are virtual based, lead virtual coaching, have opportunities that are virtual. So regardless where you are um, in the country or in the world, this will be kind of the collective, this commune of us kind of facilitating growth and supporting one another. Um, in our outreach and in our own personal growth. I see all of you guys having all very different expert um, areas of advice to give. And I think, you know, in every one of our businesses or even in our personal lives, there's aspects that even if we are one of the leaders, there are opportunities for us to, you know, grow and expand and leverage what each other has to share. So in order to become a leader, um, there are some requirements. So one is to be an active member of the Divine Brand Collective or to contribute $1,000 worth of trade per approval um, of our, our leadership team. And this is essentially to ensure that you stay present, you stay a part of the community, and you're also giving back. So this is kind of you know, us supporting one another in this growth and this expansion and, you know, staying kind of bonded together. Um, be committed to attending the Brand Boutique Elite Masterminds at 12 p.m. Eastern on Tuesdays. Of course, if something comes up or if you already have a prior agreement at that time, you know, I totally get it, but this is a way for us, for you to be featured and then show up. And so I know a lot of times, you know, we want to connect people. And so this is a great way to say, oh, hey, like, I need you to meet Denise. So she's going to be there on Tuesday. So come on. Oh, I need you to meet Mimi. She's going to be on there. And it's a lot easier to kind of have that conversation instead of people being like, oh, here's their link, you know, and people are automatically going into it like, oh, here's the sales call that I'm going to do. And I'm maybe not ready for that. But if they see your presence and kind of have a friendly conversation and kind of get to know you. You know, there's people that I've invited to that that maybe were on that group for six months and then they became my client because they're like, oh yeah, like, you know, I trust that person. They shared valuable information. They showed up for me. Um, and so I've definitely seen that like grow and expand like relationships personally and professionally. Um, I will be doing a brand review call to make sure that everyone has the correct tools because we do want to make sure that we, if we are sending referrals, that we have places to capture those leads, have products that are clear and accurate. Um, and so I will be setting up brand review calls so that we can really figure out what it is that we're messaging and that you're not missing the lead and that we're actually, you know, getting you to have that contact and, and grow your business and get and service more people. Also, you'll need to have a sales funnel for a course or a service. Um, so the minimum is $1,000 for a product service offer. Um, and this should be customized to meet the needs of the Divine Brand Collective member. And I can definitely on our brand review, you know, sort that out and support you. Um, we will 
also need you to do email follow up. So if you are doing an event, yes, we will do email follow up. But if somebody goes into your freebie offer or signs up for a call with you, we want to make sure that you have some sort of email campaign set up. You'll also need to have a freebie offer, and that could be very well a strategy call with you or a um, you know one-on-one -on -one call. It could be an ebook, it could be a mini course, something of that nature, so that when you are having your live session, people have an opportunity to buy your product. But also maybe if they're not ready to buy and they need a little bit more you have an opportunity to collect that lead and follow up with them. <coughs> You'll need to have a 30 to 45 minute keynote talk. It should have three to five key points um, and provide opportunities for attendees to learn more about your offer. Um, these will be done live. So you don't need to record them. If you do have them recorded, um, that's great. Um, but these will be done live and you'll have an opportunity. Um, the sessions are an hour, so you'll have an opportunity to do question and answer, which I think is really great for like the sales process so people feel comfortable and you can kind of get to their questions like right away. You'll also need to have an affiliate link with a 20% commission for the Divine Brand Collective. If clients don't want to say they get on your, your strategy call and they're not ready to buy that particular product, or maybe they want monthly coaching or another product, that first month of service um, will be 20% commission. And then anything after that, is your client. So if they buy that $1,000 product that first month um, and then they move into your $5,000 a month coaching, that is completely your client um, and there's no commission needed after that. You know, a lot of companies will do, you know, lifetime commissions on a lead, um, but I just feel like that's too much and I really want everyone to be able to like thrive um, and feel like you know they can provide the best service and not have to take away and give commission moving forward. Um, you should have an upsell offer. So if you just have that thousand or two thousand dollar product, you should have an upsell offer. So maybe it is that five thousand dollar a month coaching. Maybe it is your you know live retreat. Um, maybe it is your you know, $10,000 mastermind, whatever that looks like for you, you should have an upsell offer. Um, and of course, there will be some people on the leadership team that will have a different structure. And we can also talk about that. Um, this is a collective. So I'm open, you know, my, my purpose is for us to build community, support people in like their growth internally, achieve their dreams, stand in their power. And so, I want suggestions from the leadership team so that we can really feel like we're getting the most out of this. And, and this is a place that feels good and that we want to be a part of and that we want to continue growing in and supporting each other in. Um, for your uh, virtual events, you'll be able to have one or two a year. Um, and if there is like a different topic or something you want to pitch, you know, we can definitely be open to discussing that. Um, you should feature um, the event, your virtual event to your email list as well. Everyone will be able to join the collective for one week for free. So if your um, clients want to come on to see you speak or join the mastermind, they're welcome to join for a week um, to get a feel and get a sense of this. Um, and they don't have to pay initially so that they can, you know, get what's going on. If there's somebody else workshop that you're like, oh, that's really awesome. My clients definitely need that. You know, feel free to share that with the group as well. Um, you'll also be required to share three to four social media posts tagging the Divine Brand Collective when it comes to promoting your event as well. Some of our upcoming events are listed here. So 
Um, September 11th will be another live Zoom community event. So if there's anybody that you have in mind that would be a leader or would be somebody that would just like to join, um, next week will be, or next month will be more sharing about the live events, sharing about the membership. This call, it was mostly about, you know, sharing the leadership opportunities. So on next month's call, we'll, you know, do a intention setting, do a little bit of a breath work, share the opportunities for the membership um, in the first session, that section of the session. And then the people that um, aren't interested in being a leader, they can hop off. And then the last half of the call will be for people that want to be leaders. Um, so you guys can feel free to share that with anybody. Everyone that is a leader will get a customized link. So anybody that does come in as your lead, you will um, receive commissions if they decide to be a member. Our first live event will be September 24th for the fall solstice in Boston. Um, and what that event will look like is some breath work, some meditation, sound bowl um, empowerment workshops, some sharing, a healthy lunch, um, some ecstatic dance. So these live day retreats are essentially to have people just feel good in their body, feel confident, build community, um, the day retreats won't really have any business components, but if you are a leader of um, the collective, you will be introduced during the event, but there won't be any real business talk. This will just be about, you know, feeling good, building community. And as we grow and build, I foresee this looking like, you know, doing business workshops. So that's something I have, um, you know, maybe it's a full day with just business topics and a little um, wellness interspersed within that. Um, maybe it is an evening session with um, some yoga. So as the collective grows, we're going to add on components that are going to serve the community, build the relationships, and just listen for what the needs are and fill those needs. And in this last section here, if you don't have any of these things, don't worry. We have experts on this call right now um, that will support in getting all of this stuff done for you. Um, because, you know, we all have gaps in our business and we all know that we need all of these pieces in order to like really fully thrive. And it might not be our expert, you know, like thing like we're all really great at what we do and so it doesn't really make sense for us to try to figure it all out like we have the resources and we have the community that want to support so that we can focus on doing what we actually love so i am going to um open it up for a couple minutes of questions about this and then we'll introduce everyone will have a chance to introduce themselves does anyone have any questions? I have a lot of questions, but I kind of don't know where to start, you know? Um, but I love this idea. I think it's really sensational. I love the idea of the community and coming together. Um, and obviously, I think as it grows, how do we make sure as we invite leaders in um, that we're not conflicting with somebody else that's already, I guess, in the collective or... Yeah, so I think that that would have to depend upon like, you know, a conversation, you know, with me or Mimi are going to be the ones that are kind of having those initial calls with people, um, because we don't, we don't want to have a ton of people doing the exact same thing for sure. Um, we want to have kind of like, this is your this is your jam. This is like your leadership role. So that would have to be um, kind of just discussed in that. Um, I think some things, there might be some duplications, but that's just because of cities. So for example, if there's a yoga teacher, we might have 
you know, people that do that in multiple cities, just because for the live events, we actually want to have live humans there and people aren't always going to travel. And if you're, you're down to travel to events, like, you know, let me know, we can like coordinate something um, around that. Um, but yeah, that will definitely be something that we'll take into account when we have the initial convos with these people. Um, my next question was your retreat in January sounds really awesome. Do you have a price yet you're charging for that? I don't have a price yet. I wanted to kind of have this collective kind of rolling and then figure out how we can um, bring together the different components um, for it and figure out like what that's going to look like. Um, so generally retreats average around $5,000, yeah. uh, including hotel, food, and the activities. So I'm um, ballparking around that, but I have to, you know, kind of break that down um, on what it is going to really look like. And because I don't want it to be very expensive. I want it to be accessible. Um, mm. And even 5,000 is a little bit high for some people. Um, so that will have to take a little bit of more consideration. And I'll be working on that kind of in, within the next month. Okay. Um, and then my only other question is, I just didn't see the price to join at the leadership level. I saw it was the $97 should just be like a member and come to the... Um, the events and maybe I just missed it somewhere in there. Yeah. So for the leadership, so there isn't an actual price to join other than becoming an active member. So okay. it's either $97 a month or contributing with trade of a thousand dollars of service to the community. Okay. So that could look like all kinds of different things and really. Yes, can you give an example of that for Hannah, please? So that could look like, um, for example, like Denise does HR. So maybe it looks like Denise kind of helping really figure out and define the roles and the needs that we have in, in the like community. So it's for, so like, the Divine Brand Collective. Maybe we need somebody that handles memberships and sales calls. Maybe we need somebody that manages leadership. Um, maybe it's somebody that manages finances and projections and all of those details, because that's not really my favorite thing to do. <laughs> um, so maybe it looks like Denise providing like that layout as that's, you know, her expert background is kind of like in that executive planning in that human resources maybe it looks like how to like define like what that looks like as an example okay so for example like for me as human design and I know Fahana we've talked so you kind of know what I do um could that be supporting everybody and figuring out their human design to work out what's the best ways for them to show up in their marketing but then they maybe work with you to actually put the marketing pieces together that would suit that human design flow sort of piece something like that yeah we can talk more about that offline but that would just that was just a thinking out loud um yeah like in okay. those kinds of like trade things well I think it's like individual based on what it is like you that your strength is and that what would benefit the community so yeah that I think has to be like a one-on-one -on -one conversation kind of thing got it yeah that makes sense okay thank you any other questions? Okay, so I will stop sharing and then- I have one really quick question. Do you have um, an idea in mind relative to size or do you feel like this can go as big as it goes? I think this can go as big as it goes. I'd love to have a ton of members. The leadership team, I think, and the experts, you know, there's 52 weeks in the year. I foresee having maybe three different speakers every month. I mean, I guess some months are longer and whatnot. Um, so 
36 liters maybe um, in this. And then there also are some people that are brands too that may not want to do a workshop, but they may want to be a part of the leadership team or maybe it's like a spa and they're like, okay, like we'd love to be featured. Your members get a discount or maybe they get a free service with purchase of whatever. And maybe they're promoting the events to their community because it's the right target demographic, but they're not actually going to take a workshop. So that could also grow. Maybe it's a jewelry brand. Um, so there are like opportunities for brands to come in that aren't necessarily expert in IP and you know they could also so the leadership team I don't see being more than like 50 people but then the membership like it would be awesome if you know we had a thousand members and there was a thousand new people on for each person's expert workshop like that would be fantastic or like 5,000 people you know I think the sky's the limit for like actual members. Like if every single person on the leadership team like brought in like a thousand people, then the, you know, we could all grow and benefit. Last question really quick. Um, do you have any um, no's like non-negotiable, not like, you know, kind of in the zone boundaries? I think you might. And so that's kind of why I'm asking. Um, I would love for you all to kind of help me with that nose and like the boundaries list. That would be awesome. I didn't necessarily think of that. Um, I think it's really important for us to have businesses or members that are coming because from a space of like um, community building, a space of like heart centered. I use the word divine in in the the title, because I think that will maybe uh, filter some people out. Um, because, you know, through years of business, like I think, you know, I started off my marketing agency and I would work with anybody. Um, and then it was like, okay, nope, nope. And then it was like, okay, I'm only going to work with business coaches and wellness brands. And then it became, okay, these brands, but people that are like heart centered, like the fast, like sales pitch, like, you know, also like in messaging as well. Like I don't necessarily really like the types of speakers that are coming from a place of lack, like, oh, if you don't do this, then you're going to, you know, be nothing kind of thing. Like, I don't love that language. And I think that there's like a lot of marketing that is, coming from that place of lack and there's a place for that and it works for people, but I don't think that that's necessarily the, the vibe and the container that we want to create here. But yeah, you guys feel free if you have like specifics on that, like that would definitely be something good to put up. I'm working on learning boundaries or, you know, being clear about them. <laughs> Any other questions? I have some for you, Farhana, but it, they're so specific to finance that we should probably just take it offline and, and you and I communicate individually. Yes. Thank Perfect. you. Um, I'll send you guys all a link too to like set up a call if you have like one-on-one -on -one stuff. And now um, I'm going to open the floor up to introductions. Um, Susan, I know that you're traveling and might need to hop off. Do you want to intro yourself first? Love to. I'm Susan Kirby, and I work with um, messengers to get their soul's message out. And it's uh, a speaking that creates a new reality. Speaking that when you speak, the next um, generation, so to speak, your audience is going oh, I didn't know that, like they get an awakening and you, um, you get new clients. So that's my intent out of the speaking. And I've been doing this for over 30 years and um, love the idea of being able to offer what we do in a way that has people going, I want that rather than you need this. So uh, that's what I do. And I love, I've been working with Melanie McSally for a uh, little over a year now and she introduced me to Prahana and we're getting to know each other here. So um, I appreciate this 
Soul Collective. Thank you. And I live in Carefree, Arizona. So it's just north of Scottsdale. Thank you. Can I ask, yeah, can I ask uh, Susan if there's anything that you're calling for, anything that you see in, in the expansion of your business? I'm expanding one of the, uh, I, I have a process I call the 10 steps to I want that, which is a really um, divinely inspired system uh, that allows you to, to follow, to create a talk that, that really does have people saying, I want that. And I'm working with Melanie to actually write a book that shares about that and then have it be something that expands beyond me. So I'm kind of looking at that building the legacy version of my business rather than just, I need more clients. So there's a both hand, but that's, um, thank you for asking. That's the, that's the five years out kind of vision I'm seeing and uh, looking forward to that. Thank you. Thank you. Melanie, would you like to go next? Uh, I think Lee wanted to go next. because Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Lee, you want to go next? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> you have to bounce into so. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Lee. Um, actually from Canada, Ontario, but I spend uh, a lot of time in uh, Mexico and now Colombia. Um, Mexico is actually where I met Farhana. And I am just grounding in, we've just launched Origin Media. Um, and I've been doing interviews with people for an event uh, called Unleash Yourself, where we're targeting the um, blue collar mindset and talking about how people can optimize their lives and bring peak performance into every area of their life. So I've got 30 speakers uh, that are ready to go for September. We're simultaneously launching the, the Breathwork Atrium. So it'll be a membership um, Type site, which maybe we can discuss, Farhana, if, if uh, maybe that can roll into this, so that it's not you know two separate communities. Maybe we can we can uh, you know streamline and optimize and, and um, weave them together. Um, and from the Unleash Yourself and the the media, um, I'm going to be uh, more actively coaching on what I call the the Freedom Method. Um, and that's essentially my my version, my perspective with with the tools to um, not only mastering the self or self mastery, but to move beyond that into freedom on every level, you know, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, and even in how we operate um, in in this reality from travel to money and and uh, taxation and, and that sort of thing. So. A um, lot of a uh, lot of spinning plates right now, but uh, super excited as as it's um, it just really feels like it's a time of of grounding uh, the vision that I've had for so so many years, and you know this this idea of co uh, collaboration and co creation um, really seems like it's you know like our, our teams are are forming and we're really coming together at the right time, so perfect timing for uh for this as well for Hannah so um thanks for the invitation thank you for joining Melanie want to go next now <laughs> <laughs> um sure my name is Melanie McSally I'm CEO of Wise Tribe and um I help businesses with their technology so automating optimizing um also do content creation, so ghostwriting, um, creating content for your courses, your books, all of that um, stuff. And how it all started was just, um, it started with technology because I have a background in engineering, but then um, in the struggle to get clients to do tasks so that we could implement their funnels and release their products, I realized that, um, a lot of business owners needed help with the actual uh, content creation and customer journey. And so we dove into that to solve that problem for ourselves and, and for our clients. So um, yeah, so that's what I do. 
Thank you. Sandra? Melanie, and what are you, what is the, what are you calling forth? What are you, what's the big vision? You mean for myself or for, for yourself and being part of this? Um, so we're looking to uh, scale our services. So we're um, creating all of our products and services in a um, automated fashion. So that way we can onboard more clients and not have so many bottlenecks along the way. So just scaling, mass scaling. Sandra, you wanna introduce yourself? Mute myself, there you go. Uh, yes, hi, so I am Sandra. I'm a psycho-spiritual guide. I work with multidimensional heart-centered leaders who want to develop self-mastery and develop consciously creating the lives that they love so that they can live out their soul's purpose. And a multidimensional heart-centered leader is someone who is who possesses a unique combination of qualities and skills is, and is on the path of enabling them to lead and contribute with a heart, with from the heart, with compassion and depth and understanding for the interconnectedness with all that is. So the someone that's working for the good of all. And I um, I do fun conscious events around Miami and I want to expand that. I My main product and my main program is called the Conscious Creator Experience where I guide people through a three-month uh, self-development and mastery uh, deliciousness <laughs> experience and uh, yeah I what I'm calling forth is um, to be able to expand in while uh, to expand my message my vision my my sole purpose while feeling extremely supported so with great great partnerships yeah Isis would you like to go next thank you I'm Isis Latham. I am in Keene, New Hampshire, and I own and operate a financial services brokerage. And I use uh, the tagline, uh, Financial Mary Poppins. And the reason for that is I started recognizing that what I do may be similar uh, to many advisors if you look at licensing and structure of investments and things like that. But the way that I care for my clients is very different. And I recognize that these are major decisions they're making and that there's often fear involved in that. And so I fortunately was blessed with the nature that allows space for those decisions to be made in a kind and gentle sort of way. And if you think of Mary Poppins, well, then you know, a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. So um, my, my purpose is to help people um, change generational poverty, um, if that's the situation that they're coming to me from, or to uh, take ownership and make more money and to feel more confident in their money handling skills. What I'm doing to expand right now is hiring new representatives all over the country um, and building those relationships so that we too can create a legacy business ourselves um, and not have it end with me. Thank you. Denise, would you like to go next? Sure. It's very nice to meet all of you who I've not met before and get to see old friends. Um, Farhana, thank you for pulling this together. Um, I'm Denise Beers Kipper. Um, I am a um, reformed executive HR leader, um, spent <laughs> 20 plus years in corporate um, HR and people strategy leadership um, in multiple industries, lots in financial services, as well as um, technology startup and real estate uh, and development. I am a chaos Sherpa. I help people navigate complicated and complex things that feel really chaotic. Um, because there's something that's a tether in the center of it that's actually calling you as an opportunity to take you to wherever you're supposed to go next. And so I help people figure that out. Um, people always ask like, oh, do you do this with you know people professionally or personally? And I say yes, because you really can't separate 
the two things. It's a whole person. Um, I think everybody here is of that same mindset that um, you bring the whole person to whatever experience you're involved in or putting your, your energy toward. And there's something very much more special and magical that comes out of that. Um, I do about 50% uh, coaching in my work individually with everything from C-suite executives all the way to early stage emerging talent. Um, I have a side note as for Hana knows passion around helping emerging youth leaders and, and eventually that will be something that I'll build out probably um, a little bit farther down the road. Um, and then the other half of my work is um, consulting with startups and small to medium businesses. I have a little niche that's developed over the course of the last year um, with family owned businesses and generational wealth um, oriented organizations. And um, I've been doing this full time for two years. I had a kind of catalytic moment in corporate that was a giant Band-Aid rip. And I walked out of the door at um, 11.50 on October 23rd. And um, at one o'clock that afternoon, started this business full-time. It had been my side gig for about 12 years. So I love it. I love helping people and um, certified a whole bunch of, you know, uh, certification or excuse me, uh, tools, psychoanalytic tools and um, processes that help people sort through really the things that are most important for them. I do a lot of work with Strength Finder. That's one of my most favorite things. And um, I'm highly intuitive and it's always what's led me to do my work really well. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. And Mistra, would you like to go next? Oh, wait, may I, may I ask Denise if there's anything that you're calling for that you see that in the vision? I appreciate that. Thank you for asking. I love that you're asking each of us that. Um, I think, you know, for me, I'm, I'm calling for um, really the ability to continue to grow and expand this in a way that uh, is both still heart-centered for me, um, but also allowing me to have, um, you know, some reoccurring revenue opportunity um, that gives that kind of constant basis and lets me spend more time on doing the things that I love. Thank you. Thank you, Denise. Hi, everybody. My name is Ms. Straw. My business is called To Living in Flow. Um, and the essence of it is really empowering women to um, live by their intuition and step into their power. And I do that working with um, spiritual entrepreneurs. So knowing that they have these beautiful gifts to bring to the world, but then they don't know how to do that. And so I actually use their human design as a way to help map out um, their marketing blueprint, essentially. Um, but a lot of it, as you can imagine, is digging into the mindset, showing up, how to even present their ideas and their offers. Um, but we do all of that, again, like I said, through human design and encouraging them to live in flow. <laughs> um, and one of my big visions um, is that as a manifesting generator, I have a lot of different ideas I want to bring to this world. Um, and I can't take action on all of them. And so, you know, having a group that I work with collectively, like this group is so empowering to me because it spreads, that doesn't spread myself then, but sort of allows me to be abundant in my ways and support many other people while they also support me. And I think that's really beautiful. Um, but in addition to my coaching, I also host retreats. I have three coming up in the next year. Um, I work with women primarily in that, but running leadership retreats for young college age women. Um, and then I also work in corporate using the human design to help um, create better communication within the CEO's executive team. We don't actually include the CEO in the coaching, just the executive team. Um, and so it's actually a very neat way. And I have worked so far primarily just with women in this role. So that's been really exciting. So I, I do a lot of different things, um, but I see how they all connect, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> which is all that matters. <laughs> um, and I think I said my vision was just, yeah, I love this collective and bringing people together instead of us all working in individual areas. I think as a collective, we can make such a bigger impact. And so that's my vision, just what I was going towards. And then Farhana landed in my lap one day and I was like, oh, this is great. <laughs> Thank you. Rona, would you like to go next? Uh, sure. 
I'm gonna let Mimi go first, actually. I usually go last, don't I? <laughs> go ahead, Mimi. Hey. <laughs> hey everybody, my name is Mimi Dara, and I am the founder of Maison Palo Santo, which translates to the House of Holy Wood. Uh, we are a mission-based brand that focuses on Palo Santo products. We currently have an existing line uh, that we've been in business since about 2016. Everything is made with Palo Santo, which is a wood that comes from South America. Ours comes from Ecuador. We built a property there in 2012, and we have been on this Palo Santo mission, spreading love and peace and connecting people to their innate creative potential through the power of the sacred medicine and daily rituals. So I'm also a yoga teacher, breathwork facilitator, and um, expert in how to grow your business to six figures from a studio apartment while on the move and on the go, you know, keeping that smile and always keeping it fun. Um, I feel like my intention, hell yeah, I feel like my intention for this group is to bring a very practical approach to mindfulness. I think that I have a very unique um way of uh, facilitating and um, increasing joy and allowing people to remember that it's okay to follow their dreams. Um, and as my business expands, we have sold Palo Santo in six out of seven continents. You know, we are a global Palo Santo company. We do trade shows. Our biggest show is coming up in Manhattan at the Javits Center next week. We sponsor yoga festivals, we do music festivals, um, we do all kinds of events that bring people, aromatherapy, and these healing modalities all together in one and make it approachable for everybody because this truly is, <clears throat> excuse me, for everybody. And my intention for this group is to really maximize on this huge trend now. So before, like take it back 15 years ago, you couldn't find a yoga studio on every corner right? Now it's breath work in every corner. Now it's all of these healing things in every corner. Everybody's a psychedelic coach and all of these different things. So how can we really stand out? So my, so my intention for this group is, and what I want to get out of it is to really harness everybody's talent so that I can build even more community. Uh, we have a reforestation project in Ecuador where we plant trees with each product sold, and we are now working with the fruit of the tree. And as the only people working with the fruit, that is my life's mission now. It will it will be my legacy. And um, I really look forward to sharing that information with as many people as possible, because one of the things that is missing sometimes from all of these beautiful practices and modalities is scent because the olfactory sense is closest connected to our memories. And when we start incorporating that into each of these practices, we can really use this medicine when we need it most, which is when we feel stressed or when we need to shift our energy because everybody can go to workshops and seminars all day long. But the most important thing is how we can empower people with the tools they need to continue the practice after they leave. So that is my intention, uh, always to build community and just to learn. I am a freaking sponge, you guys. I worked in restaurants in Manhattan my whole life. And I and to go build up on what Denise said, I quit my job on my birthday, Denise. Okay, June 10th, 2018. And um, I walked out. I had lost feeling of um, happiness. I had lost joy. And uh, what I know is that you got to, you know, inject those feelings of happiness and desire and just and just passion into the world again. And I really feel that that's where I'm going. And we're not just a product-based brand anymore as every single one of our products is paired with meditation and we collaborate with a lot of musicians. Um, so it's all about creativity and fun. And I like to bring the fun. So I really feel that's what I'm bringing to the group here today. Thank you, Mimi. Thank you. Um, so now it's 101. And I, if you have to hop off, you can. However, Ronan would like to share and then Sandra is going to do like a closing. So a couple more minutes if you do want to stay on, but I want to respect everyone's time. Ronan. So uh, I'm Ronan. I'm here in Vegas, Las Vegas. Um, not the one in New Mexico, but the one in Nevada. And um, I do business coaching. I work with small to medium sized businesses. I, I like to work with construction. My main focus is making sure that um, business owners uh, discover their purpose and their meaning in life beyond their business, right? And to have businesses, the ultimate goal is to have businesses be for purpose more so than for profit. 
Um, I like the idea of, you know, I mean, that's that's the ultimate community is when we're all working for a purpose that's higher than ourselves. Um, and yeah, and that's what I do. And I'll keep it short. I'm good. And I'm excited to be here. Anything that you're calling in, Ronan? What am I calling in? Um, that's a good question. Um, yeah, love and purpose. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Sandra, that's everyone. Great. So just to respect everybody's time, maybe we just um, close our eyes for a second and just maybe place our hands, whether it's in our heart or any place that you want them in your body, and just sealing this conversation with three deep breaths. Maybe you have your hand in your belly or in your heart, feeling your hands feel expanded through that. Really sending the prayer of this intention that was built here today to just build legacy that goes beyond our businesses, that our self-mastery expands at, at every level, that we can grow in mass scale, expanding our businesses and our voices, that we can do this expansion while feeling supported, that we can support people in living abundantly and confidently, making money in every area of their lives, getting wealth and health in every area of their lives. That we grow with the ability to stay in our heart center and in that creating revenue, recurring revenue, passive income. That we continue to harness the power of the collective that allows us to support many people that we wouldn't be able to do just on our own and create great impact. That we stay connected to love and purpose. That we help each other maximize our missions, our visions, our voice, and stand out by harnessing the talents of everyone in community, in our community, in this community. And feeling that just move through the body. And if it feels like a yes, just like saying yes to that. Yes, that will click. And wishing that for all of you. And may this intention just continue to send those waves throughout your day and throughout your week. And hopefully we see each other very, very soon. Thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you guys so much for joining. I am so excited to be connecting and partnering with you all. And I will be sending out information and we all should have like one-on-one -on -one conversations for what's next if you're looking um, to uh, be one of the leaders. Bye everyone. Have a great afternoon.